Hello everyone, welcome to day 22 of our Navigating Transitions journey. Today we're going to talk about some tips to help you navigate your transitions with strength and grace. So our first tip is about community support. Community support isn't just about finding comfort in numbers. You don't need a big crew. It's about connecting with those that resonate with our journey, that offer mutual understanding. It's in these types of connections that we find the courage to face our challenges and joy in celebrating our success. In order to accomplish that, you need to create a robust support network. But to do this, it requires some intentionality and being open. Start out by reaching out to existing relationships, but don't be afraid to explore new communities that are aligned with your transition. Doesn't matter if it's local groups, online forums, workshops, interaction weaves another thread of support into our total package of our journey. Number three, the power of community lies not just in seeking support, but offering it. Sharing your experiences can enlighten others just as their insights can inspire you. I want to use an analogy when a patient, a uh, patient, <laughs> I'm in healthcare, right? When a person um, has a, a substance abuse problem, they may get, go to Alcoholics Anonymous, right? And so in those group settings, they share, but it is a transformational journey, not just transactional, meaning um, someone is getting something from you only or vice versa. Number four, a supportive community does not provide, it does more, I should say, it does more than just provide comfort. It really helps you with resilience. When you get encouragement and perspective of your network, it reminds you of your strengths and you get to learn something new about how to navigate transitions, making us more adaptable and one of my favorites, resilient. Number five, mentorship. And it could be reverse mentorship as well, meaning it could be someone that's younger than you. Sometimes we devalue individuals that are younger than us. They could be wise beyond their years. Mentorship introduces an invaluable dimension to community support, in particular during transitions. With their experience and insight, a mentor can offer personalized guidance helping you navigate those uncertain times with greater confidence. Not only do you get practical advice that's tailored to your situation, it has to be tailored to your situation, but it also can be a sounding board for your ideas and concerns. It's important to note that when you get someone to mentor you, you got to make sure that they have the physical and emotional bandwidth to support you. For example, um, I'm oftentimes asked um, by individuals if I can mentor them. And a lot of times I don't have the time. And it's really a waste of their time to, you know, try to rely on me to mentor them because my time is limited. Now, I will tell you, mentorship doesn't have to be a long-term situation. It could be just as simple as meeting at Starbucks for coffee or tea and just um, talking through the situation, right? So as we continue through our transitions, let's remember the invaluable role of community. It's the connections that we create and maintain that can often make the difference between just simply surviving transition and truly thriving through it. Who in your community can you reach out to today? How can you strengthen or expand your network? I'll see you tomorrow.